Before we go into detail on the specifics of epithelial and connective tissues, I want to talk to you about the cells that we're going to find there. So I suppose this is some of the details, but going back to cell types and then what we're going to see in the different tissue types. So to start this, I actually want to start with a learning check. Learning check one for this week and do this. I probably will mostly answer this as I talk about the cell types. So I'm going to not necessarily answer those. You should answer um, tissue type in one place it's found. I would like to focus on epithelial and connective and tell you about what cells you expect to find. Epithelial tissue is going to have epithelial cells. That one is pretty easy. There are different shapes and sizes we'll, we'll see. We'll see that in the epithelial lecture. Um, so there, there are, will be some specific types of epithelial cells as well as some that are specialized with certain functions. Sometimes they'll have a few other names. Don't wanna introduce those now. That one's easy, right? Connective tissue is really variable. So connective tissue is a broader category in terms of the scope um, of stuff that it is. So we'll talk more about that. But what that means is there's a lot more types of cells in it. So for example, you can even have um, so adipose cells, that's fat cells, um, are one type of connective tissue cell. Blood cells are actually considered connective tissue. So white blood cells and red blood cells, the two pretty different and unique types. Then we've got types that produce fibers. So um, come back and watch this again after you've seen connective tissue and you'll see, well, I'll also use these terms when we go to look at it. So these are gonna be called fibrocytes. Some connective tissues have cells that are called fibrocytes. Chondrocytes are a type of cell present in cartilage. Chondro refers to cartilage. Fibro is, refers to um, dense connective tissues like tendons. And then we've got osteocytes. Osteo is bone. So those are the ones found in bone. I um, think that's my main ones. So notice these three all end in the word sites. Sites refers to cells. However, I also want to use this to introduce another term that is blasts. So I'm gonna actually do it and fibroblasts. Blasts are immature cells in the connective tissue that have that are, that are immature. So we'll see this in context of like when you would um, have this happen, like, like growth of a tissue. Um, would be when you'd have the blast stage. The blasts are actually the ones that, in this case, are producing fibers, brand new fibers, making that tissue grow and expand. Fibrocytes with the mature ones that are kind of maintaining the tissue. And we'll see that in all of these contexts. Chondroblasts and osteoblasts. There is one more cell type in... Um, bone tissue that we'll introduce. This is not necessarily, it is not um, comprehensive, but it's some terminology. Um, I want you to remember that we're talking about tissues. We're talking about something that's made up of cells and then the stuff that, that those cells produce. So epithelial, that's mostly epithelial cells, right? These are nuclei here, these purple dots. Connective tissue, there's a lot of extracellular matrix stuff that those cells produce. Um, that's what all this stuff is. And here are individual nuclei. Um, here, this is muscle cell. We've got myocytes. And here we've mostly got neurons. That's a cell type. Um, astrocytes are another cell type in nervous tissue. Um, there's several other kinds as well that we'll come back to muscle tissue and nervous tissue in a later week of lectures.